All right, so now we're going to be, um, I'm going to show you how we could uh, move something along with him that's not part of this mesh. Um, for example, if I wanted to give this guy a gun or something, and I wanted it to move in his hand whenever I move it. Um, so unfortunately, uh, KinFX works a little bit different than the object level working, whereas at object level, this, this would be as simple as just taking um, your object and parenting it to this hand joint. Um, at KinFX, there's a few extra steps, but it's still pretty, uh, pretty easy, so don't worry. Um, I'll show you. So we're going to start by dropping a file. And I'm going to bring in this gun object that I have. And just so I can see everything together. So let's take our rest geometry, plug it in, and um, now we have our rest geometry and our gun. And we want to line this gun up with the hand and make sure it's the right size. So I'm going to drop down a match size. I'm going to go scale to fit, uniform scale. And then just so I don't have to adjust all three of these a bunch, I'm going to copy uh, parameter and then I'm going to paste relative reference. And that way, these parameters over here will match this reference no matter what. So I think the gun is probably like maybe 0 0.275, something like that. And with the state selected, I can move this position alignment. And then I want to drop a transform node so I can rotate this thing. And I don't want it to be rotating around this axis down here because this is a very annoying way to work. So to get this axis up to the object, I'm going to go move centroid to origin. And then I'm just going to control middle click on this translate button. So now we have this rotate uh, at this bounding box center of our gun. So we can move it around. and. It's going to look in that direction. So we just want to line this up uh, to how he would be holding it. We can adjust the hands and stuff around this, and we can even make a collision object later. I have some little stuff going over collisions in this, I think, the seventh or sixth course of KinFX 101. It's whatever the mesh collision course is. If you want to check that out, you can apply that. Um, I The example I use is for feet, but you can use that same example. Um, for collisions with with the mesh. Okay, so now we have this set up, um, and I can go ahead and use the deformed mesh again, since I know that this is aligned with at the beginning, or the rest geometry. So when I move this, the gun obviously doesn't move with it because we haven't set anything up yet, and there's no way we. I think th there's some method about copying it to points, but uh, that one is a lot more complicated, I think, than the capture pack geometry method. So I'll show you that right now. If we just type in uh, packed, you'll come up with a capture pack geometry. And essentially, what this is going to be doing is this is going to be similar to how we set up our uh, biharmonic capture for the rig, um, but it's just going to work on pack geometry, and it's very simple. So on the first input, we're going to take our uh, gun object. And then on the second input, we're going to take the rest skeleton of um, our mesh. We don't want to plug in the skeleton that's been deformed down here. We want to make sure that we have the skeleton uh, rest. So on this capture pack geometry, what we want to do is we want to, uh, first we want to drop down a pack. So you can do this on the node itself, but um, when you try to manually select, it's going to bump you up to the next level. So it's best uh, for me at least to just go ahead and pack this gun before anything. So we would want to hit this manual capture and then select this button. And we're going to select our pack geometry. So it should only be one. Um, Sometimes I think there's a bug right now where this isn't working right. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just put a star, which is going to say any geometry uh, should be uh, the capture geo. And then the joint, we want to go ahead and select this hand joint right here. And then after that, we'll drop down a bone deform in the same way we deform the mesh. And we'll plug in 
geometry to the form. The skeleton and uh, our output from our animated mesh. Now, we plug all of these into a merge so we can see all of them together. When I rotate this, you can see that the gun moves with the hand, which is nice. Uh, for, uh, I mean, you, you can do this for pretty much anything. So, yeah, so that's how you go about um, capturing um, capturing geometry uh, that's not part of the mesh. All right, well, I think this covers up most of what I was trying to cover in this dirty little rigging uh, tutorial. I will go over um, how you will could professionally rig something and rig up. Uh, we're going to go real in-depth. Uh, I already have started building this um, T-Rex rig uh, from scratch again um, in KinFX, and that's going to be on my Patreon um, as a Patreon uh, supporter only. Um, I th I'm going to be real cheap with it because uh, I just love giving out these tutorials and uh, um, helping you guys. But um, I think I'm going to do something like five bucks or something if you want this whole course. Uh, but uh, it's going to be it's going to be a big one. And we're going to go over a lot of really cool stuff that I had to learn myself um, and a lot of cool tips and uniques, uh, unique tricks we can use with chops and uh, procedurally rigging. Uh, a character and one that's also not a biped so I've, I've seen so many of these biped um, character rig tutorials uh, I would love to go over something that's more of like a beast or like a, a t-rex for example so so yeah um, so I think this sums it up I hope you enjoyed this and I'll get back to you with more complex uh, character rig tutorials here soon